Hey guys, welcome back to Titanfall 2. Uh, I think this is the last part, if I remember correctly. So uh, we're just going to hop right in, see if we can get it done. Uh, we're at Copper's Logbook. The Draconis is making a beeline for the full-scale fold weapon. Yeah, the just to recap, the fold weapon is uh, something that allows you to change time. It's basically a time machine, and uh, what it does is that once... Is that it lets you travel back and forth between the past and the present. Now, what that would allow the the IMC to do is that would let them go to rev to rebellion planets, preferably the high point ones, the high target ones, the high value ones, and then just go back in time before the rebellion, snuff it out, and then you're done. So here we are. BT is looking good. Oh, that is a nice craft. Uh, yeah, we're probably not gonna do that, right? I got a Spitfire and an Archer. Okay. Um. We're coming up on a transport. Just burn past it. We have to catch the Sweet. Can I shoot it? I don't think I should. I don't. I'm at three o'clock. Airborne boat required. Oh shit. Visual clear. I've got some tow. Well, this is not good. What? I got you, kid. Break yourself. Um Yeah, that didn't feel good. We're getting in. Let me in. Dude, it is not safe for a human. If you throw me, I'm just I'm not going to be happy. Oh, God. Well, this is not going to work out well. Just like before. Not exactly. There are significantly more variables to throwing between two moving platforms. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Please don't kill me. I'm a gonna die. Oh, thank Christ. Cooper, listen up. We can't take you directly to the bridge. We'll never get past those guns. We'll drop you off at the stern and you'll have to forward. This is not going to... Oh, thank Christ that I had enough faith in that. You can back off. Okay, well, this is not going well at all. Watch my left flank. There's nothing to watch. There's no one else in here. They were not expecting someone to jump into the damn building. Reload the damn gun. What we got here? What are these? Okay, bolts. How are you gonna work out? Oh great, one of you. That's one less. Okay, this is a great plan right now. We're just gonna keep shooting until everybody dies. I don't know what that was. I 
Alright, so which way am I going? I'm going over here. Hey! Man, I got no time for y'all today. This is not going well for me at all. And I'm dead. <laughs> uh, Should have figured that. Um. Uh, <clears throat> So, I know it's been a while since I recorded anything, and I just wanted to walk y'all through uh, what's going on. Like, as it's just been said, time is tough to come by. And, like, when I actually do have time off from work, I'm not really in the mood to record. I kind of just want to sleep and laze around. But there are some changes happening in my life, and I'm not, I'm not against vlogs. I just, they're not completely nice to make. They're just very boring. So, we're kind of just going to ignore it for a little bit. Uh, but the changes going on in my life are, first and foremost, I am looking at going back to school. So, that's one thing we're going to have to work around. Well, that's... Oh, God, I almost fell off. You're dead. I don't need one of you. Gonna need one of you. You get back. Alright, well, he's gonna blow up. Why are you watching me kill these things instead of helping me kill them? Probably should not have stood that close to him. That does not look like something I want to be near. Is that a vault? Isn't that what I have? Okay, different side on. Yeah, sure I am. I know exactly what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't want that. I just jumped right into the middle of the firefight. Gonna cloak and hide here for a second. Okay, we feel better. I do like in this game they kind of just point out, yeah, you're pumped full of drugs when you heal. There. I always want to take a hand. Alright. Can I get in? Nope. Great. Oh, God. Well. That didn't work out well. So yeah, going back to school, uh, information systems technology, bachelor's degree, uh, that's going to cost a couple couple dollars, uh, so we're going to, when I'm done recording for today, we're going to go through and get all of that sorted, that was, that was more badass than I deserve, that was just way too badass of a move. Alright, guns down. Apparently the ship ain't doing so well either. Gun two is down. Boom! Get the last one. Where is the last one?
Oh god. Well, that's not gonna work out great at all. Knock you out. Start shooting all of you. Hearing a noise out of my right ear. I don't like that. I don't like that grenade. Oh, God. Okay, so yes, you can just knock that down. Sweet. So what do I do? Good covering fire. We got your back. Commander Briggs, we'll also need your help. Copy that, Bear. On my way. The bridge is through that hangar. Over There's some. Any ideas? Briggs here. What do you need me to do? Close the door and keep her steady. He's not thinking. No, no. Wait a sec. Follow me. Oh God. Oh, please tell me I got myself. Oh, thank Christ. Well, this is not good. I will say the combat in this is amazing. I love the level design. Yeah, we're just gonna sit here for a little bit. Shot him in the butt till he died. That's the bridge up there. Follow me. It's about how I work. Come on, Coop. Keep up. Dude, do I look like someone who's been doing this a long time? Ah. That's where you're going. Freaking move, dude. Did all these people have are pistols? That doesn't sound right. I need one of these knives. Oh, thank God. Hey, BT. Ready to transfer control to pilot. Cooper will cover you from the All right, sweet. Get to the 
been waiting on you. Dude, this is... This is the big one. We need the big gun. Oh, great. Oh god. Oh god. Come on. Go down. Oh god. I do love the screenshots. And y'all know I suck at this. This is assuming my face cam even works. Boom. Take that. I'm gonna take that. What? You really want to go? Where you at? Come. I'm getting close. I might have him killed. I don't think this is going to be the last episode. <laughs> Can't keep a bead on them. There's gotta be. There's got to be something on here that I am not seeing.
All right, that's sweet. Cooper, ready for fastball. Recommend you disembark. Okay. I have no idea what that's going to do for me. Oh, God. Thought I was about to die. Adjusting for wind resistance. Calculating. Yes, please calculate. Get your calculations done now. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. BTS where you got you guys. Oh god. Oh god. Cooper, aim for the cockpit. Take the shot. Hey. Left arm severed. However, I am still operational. This ship is rapidly losing altitude. That is not it's operational. Up to us, you are in no condition to fight. What the hell are you doing? Oh, God. We are approaching the Ark's containment unit. I have no idea what that means. The uh, they're abandoning ship, so why are we running? We must improvise. Destroy. Oh, they're gonna iron giant this. I cannot That's exactly the what they're gonna do. Cooper, I need your help. What am I gonna do? Just grab it with my bare hands? Quickly, we need to get off the ship. Yeah, that's We're safe. Out of time. This way, Cooper. That is going to get you killed. Oh yeah, they're iron giantling us. Mother frickers. Oh, I'm being taken prisoner. I don't think I'm at a point where I can stop. <laughs> I think I may just have to keep recording. So it looks like I'm being taken prisoner by the mercenaries. BT is not dead, but he's certainly not operational. This is not going to end well. For the record, this is on an Xbox One S, and it loads like that. My concern. Once you have delivered the Ark as per your contract, your payment will be transferred by the IMC. Just have my money ready. I'll get you your precious cargo, you useless neb. All right, Titan, you're going to open up and give me what I want. Voice command, not recognized. Let me just rip it out of him. Well, brisket. the arc's unstable. Listen, hero, you have what's mine, and I want it back. Go on. Tell your Titan to open up. About what? His feelings? <sighs> Still trying to be a hero, <laughs> eh? I have a lot of dodge riding on this contract, my friend. So tell your Titan, if he doesn't open up, I will shoot you in the head. Pilot in jeopardy. Ox 
binocular systems. Marginal. Cannot visually acquire pilot. Stand him up. You see well. him now? Right here. Right here. Yeah? You see him now? Functions compromised by severe crash damage. I don't care how broken you are. I know deep down. Some things, some things still work in there. Now open up. Going to shoot your pilots in the head. You still remember numbers, don't you? I'm going to count to three. One. Well, two, Cooper, three. trust me. Nah. Well, this is not going to end well. It? That's the problem with teams. If you don't win together, you die together. Okay. Breaking out of there. Nice try, love. Say good night. Oh. Oh, that, that's just overkill. So, uh, another thing you may notice if I. Uh, face cam works this time. Is uh, I got a new pop filter. Yeah, you know, my mic would stay up, and the pop filter would stay in place. That's just not how things are going to work for me. Objective survive. Cooper, over here. Cooper, I'm not leaving them. I can no longer uphold the mission. Bitch, yes, okay. you will. You are going to live. It's your best chance for survival. That's your brain, right? Pistol and a knife. Okay, yeah, I got his brain. We're keeping his brain. We'll get you a new body, man. So I do like how they all just automatically have that slot. It's like a USB. Completely honest with you. This is Commander Sarah Briggs. If you can read me, get to the bridge one click north of your position. We've only got one shot to turn this fight around, and you're it. Our fleet's moving in on the fold weapon. We're coming. It's not over yet. Oh, I am running better than I have ever run before. I love this gun. It's like that mission in a Splinter Cell Conviction where you're just shooting everybody. You're, headed in the right direction. you're just always just winning. The anti air defenses are extremely heavy around the fold weapon. We're having trouble getting boots on the ground and we're running out of options. We have one last Vanguard in the Alright, well, we're just gonna keep running. Pulling its data core and preparing it for Titanfall. This is. This is a little nuts. Run from 
under. Well, I'm dead. How far back are you going to start me? Yeah, not too bad. Keep running, keep running, not stopping for anything. Oh. Oh, hell no, we installing a new one. Oh, thank God. Yes. Glad to have you back in one piece, BT. Over 25,000, actually. Oh, yes. BT-7274 online and ready for combat. It is time to oh. complete our mission. Yes. I'll take that. Cooper, I'm throwing everything I've got at the IMC, but it's not going to be enough to uh. stop the weapon. Take him down. Aimbot. Destroy the Titan with your smart core in the can. That was an achievement? I'm not the one in 100 pieces now, am I? Give me a sit rep now. Got the landinger of the Rutland. The Stockman took a broadside. It's going down. So now, where am I going? Commander Briggs, this is Gates uh. 64. Are we late to the party? You're just in time, Gates. How much juice do you have left in the Malta? We've got plenty to spare. Don't worry, Coop, we've got your back. Targeting systems online. We are weapons hot. I like this little bit. Uh, to be honest with you, not how I expected it to go either. Where are you? Are we 
character is unstable. We are near 40 minutes. But I think this is the last mission. So we're not going to be too worried about the time. Got it. Now you're dead. their own legion. Okay, that's handled. Yeah, because I got nowhere to move. About to enter a big boss fight, ain't I? Yeah. Boss fight time. Now go. My forces will take over. Two on one. That time they do something. I think our militia pilot's trying to be a hero. It's all yours. Keep the salvage. Who said anything about salvage? Oh, only I'll one. one Thank three. God. Oh, 
request. Okay. Coordinates locked. Freeport system. Planetary designation. Harmony. Boom! Come on. Damn it. Almost at it. It's this close to making it look cool. Come on. Alright. That's down and done. Need the battery. Boom. That wasn't her, was it? Is that, is that it? Oh! Okay, got two batteries here. Come on. Working on it, buddy. Where is that? Yeah, that probably wasn't a good thing to do. But I did it. This is not going to end well. It's your lucky day, hero. I'm not going to kill you. I don't work for free. But you don't get to kill me either. Yeah, you earned this, eh? Liz, that Vanguard class Titan is still in there. Not my problem, Marta. Should have put it in my contract. I've got other people with money to see. What are you doing? What do you think you are doing? 
Oh, I pray to God I get to kill him in the next game. Either kill him or make me have to work with him. One of the two. BT, you gonna be all right? Get me into that injector assembly. We must do this together. Together. Okay. BT, Cooper, our ground teams can't make it there in time. You've got to find a way to destroy the full weapon from the inside. There's no other way. Commander Briggs, I believe I have a solution. In its exposed state, my reactor. Not a good one. Yes, by all means, let's trust the guy who did the bag. Don't worry, BT. I'm not going anywhere. Copy that, pilot. Yep, I knew they were going to do this. I knew they were going to do it. Characters. Oh, shit. okay. This is this is nerve wracking. Oh god. That's it. Oh, shit. Well, that that. Mm. This is not going well for me at all. Oh, should not have jumped that early. I'm really bad at this, okay? <laughs> oh, where's the next one? I knew they were going to kill him. I knew they were going to do it. And no, I did not look up spoilers or anything. I just, I knew it. I had a robotic companion. He had protocol three, which was to protect the pilots. Which already told me. That already told me. The only thing that was going to happen. Oh, God. I made it to the dropship. <laughs> well, that planet's gone. Pilot Cooper, a lot of people owe their lives to you and to BT. Barker, set a course for Harmony. Take us home. You got it. I love the visuals of this game. This game has amazing visuals. The destruction of Titan Everything's still recording. The, planet yep. Harmony. the militia calls this planet their headquarters. The millions of others call it home. Commander Briggs says I'll be inducted into the Marauder Corps and assigned a new Titan. After the techs wipe what's left of my neural link with BT. I don't know what that'll feel like to get assigned a new Titan. I kind of like the old one. This 
is Pilot Jack Cooper, signing off. Okay, that was actually a very well done uh, campaign for a game that originally didn't have one. That was the big thing. The When the original Titanfall came out, it didn't have a campaign. And the reason for that was because they didn't feel it needed one. The people that made it are the people behind the original Modern Warfare, which as many people know, that was a very popular Call of Duty. and raised for its multiplayer and for the campaign. The campaign was very well done in that as well. And so what you see in that is I think a lot of people were expecting a campaign like that in Titanfall 1. Didn't get it. The cam there was a campaign option, but it wasn't so much a campaign as it was just a very long, drawn-out tutorial that at the end of it you had all the Titan classes unlocked. And you could skip it and just play multiplayer and unlock all the Titan classes anyway. But now one of the things that I liked about this campaign was, you know, you start as a pilot everywhere. And the way they open this game with that spiel about how pilots are these revered warriors on the battlefield. How nobody can really beat them. How they just take out hordes of enemies. Uh, what I like about that is you can see where it's kind of like just the video game character being given an actual characterization in a game because in many shooters you're this one guy who mops the floor with a couple hundred people and that just that doesn't happen in real life not in actual firefights at least not typically and I say that as someone who has never been in a firefight or in a battle zone and has no intention of it Now, BT, what I liked about BT as a character was it would have been very easy to just make the Titans these uncaring, uh, very logical beings. But they actually gave them, uh, gave them a voice, give them a bit of a story. They're not, they are based in logic. They think everything through logically because, again, they're machines. But they still, you know, I kept referencing Iron Giant, and that is because they were naive. If anybody saw the movie, you know that he was a naive robot taken in by a naive kid. And you saw how that went through for them. Now what I liked about the mercenaries is it's showing that the Titans are not just... The Titans and pilots are not just known to the warring factions. There is a private industry, much like in real life, there's always, you know, there's the private militaries, the people you hire to do the stuff you necessarily don't want your people doing. And it becomes that issue of, you know, if you pay someone a million dollars to do this, what if the person you want them to do it to offers them two million dollars? Who really has the power there? It's the guy that's getting the money because he can just keep saying, well, go back to you for three. And then the number just keeps rising. And that's kind of what I liked about these antagonists in the game because they're not so much the villains. They don't really, they don't care one way or another how it ends they just want their money and what you're see what you saw in that was that at the end of the game you saw that he uh, that bliss who looked at cooper and just said i'm not going to kill you because i already got my money i'm done i'm out of here i don't care but he also said cooper's not going to get to kill him which is telling me that if if the people that made the game decided to include a scene where Cooper does try to fight him, he would have fought to the death, and it would have been like the other boss fights. And that's another thing I liked was the boss fights. You saw where in the fights it was 
a boss fight like a true boss fight and then you also saw at the same time that they weren't that different from regular titan battles Keith Ferguson voiced the Ronin Titan that is one of the things you know that all these people required voices and then you had the mo motion capture people now the music in this game, I see the composer coming up now. I'm tip your hat to Stephen Martin. That was very well done. It was a very good soundtrack for a game. Uh, but one of the things that you see in this game was they took a lot of elements from the multiplayer. You know, the multiplayer had the fight the bad guys, win or lose, get to the dropship, get off world. And I like that they ended it with get to the dropship and get off world. Because they are showing that, you know, these elements in multiplayer, they do have a place in the story of this game. And one of the things I would really like to see out of this particular series is I would love to see novelizations of it. They do it with Halo, they've done it with Alan Wake, they've done it with Call of Duty and Battlefield. I would love to see a novelization of Titanfall. And that is just because there there is a story here. There's very good stories here. Or potentially very good stories. But you're going to have to sit down and actually work through them. And do the planning to get them isolated and put away correctly. And it's going to be the question of, do these become standalone stories or do they branch out into a larger narrative? Now, as far as the games go, I would like a larger narrative. I would like to see them expand the war effort, have us go through and play games. And I would also love to see, and this is more where the novelization would come into play because I don't think you could do it all that well in the game, is uh, with rebellions, typically you have to have, you have to have people on the inside. It's tough to run a rebellion, tough to get intel if you don't have people on the inside. You need informants. And one of the things I would like to see out of an informant section of a game would be, or in a book about an informant, is them having to wrestle with the competing ideologies. Because that's what this is coming down to. It's coming down to ideology. You know, the IMC, from what I've seen in the lore of the game, they're the ones that made it possible to go to the frontier. So do they not have the right to commandeer frontier planets to scavenge, to take the resources and continue with their work? Because they are the ones that got everyone to the frontier. But then at the same time, you have the people that are sitting down going, you have no right to excavate people from their homes and such. Which, I can understand the argument out of that. And like I said, I would just, I would love to see it. I would love to see what they do with that. But uh, that was actually a very entertaining game. Uh, not worth $60, I will say that. It's not worth uh, the full retail price. I think what they have it at now, the $40 mark, that is a very good price for this game. That's a good mid-level price, and I think that's what Overwatch is at too, and I think that's kind of games like that, which are, you know, no one's going to play this game and replay the story 600 times. They're going to play it for multiplayer. So things like It, Overwatch, Grand Theft Auto, uh, Call of Duty, I think they would do very well to just start going into the $40 market, just stay in the $40 market, even with the new releases. BT, you alive? I don't know. Probably is. But anyway, those were my thoughts on the game. I think it's a very well done game. I do recommend it. It's a If you want to play the campaign, it's a good rental game. Go to Redbox, pay the $3. Pay the $3 for a couple days. It'd be about 10 bucks for you to rent it at the end of it. And be and play it and be done with a good Gamefly game or go to GameStop, buy it pre-owned 
or if you want the new copy, buy a new copy. It's a good game. It's worth the money. Not $60, but it's worth paying some money to have it. And uh, this video went a lot longer than I intended. I thought it was only going to be like another 30, maybe 40 minutes of gameplay, but it turned out to be over an hour because I suck. And uh, I kind of just wanted to get my thoughts in. And that's it. This is also going to be the first Let's Play I ever 100% completed. As in from the first level to the last level is recorded, edited, and uploaded. So I'm going to be very happy about that. Uh, regarding that, uh, the next Let's Play I will be doing, I honestly don't know. We're not going to continue with three games a week. We've got Titanfall 2 handled. It's on the sidelines now. We're going to go to Metro 2033. We're going to try to finish it up. And we're going to try to finish up Bulletstorm. And after that, I'm going to sit down and I'm probably going to take a hiatus and... And by a hiatus, I mean an actual official hiatus where it's not, I'm late because I don't have time, where I'm taking the time to sit back and chart some games. Because there's some games coming out this year that I'd like to do recordings for. And like I said, I'm looking to go back to school. I might be taking a step down at work to make that a little easier on myself because I don't, I don't technically need a full-time job right now. But I like having one. They are hard to come by. I kind of don't want to step back and lose it. So we're just going to have to figure out what's going on there. Uh, so from that point, just stay tuned. We'll figure out what's going on. Uh, but this has been Titanfall 2. I've been your host. And uh, thank you and good night.